so i'll just uh, put on record where we got stuck last time and then continue so last time we had a problem with generating fm and the only solution or uh, the only solution to that problem that i could find and think of was that uh, we assume the voltage from the source to be totally isolated from the rest of the circuit and how do you do that <laughs> that i don't know but uh, that is how that thing works so that is simply taken as an nc oscillator there's another way of generating fm using the but you guys tell me that uh, you haven't heard of the triple five timer is that right yes Sir, we did make a timer in the analog lab. Did I make a timer. I don't remember. Was it? It was like the triple five only. No, it was like the triple five. So that have you studied the triple five IC in a theory course? No. Yes, that's why I am not invoking that. So what I will do is that uh, I'll put the notes pertaining to that triple uh, five uh, timer uh, FM modulator on the web. in the course files thing anyone interested can use that to do a do the corresponding project using spice or matlab or whatever they want and anyone interested can understand that but uh, that will not officially be a part of the syllabus is that okay yes does that make sense yes sir everyone else can uh, safely assume that we can uh, or uh, safely dissociate dissociate the voltage from the source or from voltage from the rest of the circuit how i don't know <laughs> yeah so since done so going back we remember that the fm signal looked list let me find the exact expression that i used so that i don't pull down yeah so just let me look for the exact expression of the fm signal so that we don't make a big error on that yeah so st that is a modulated fm signal looks like this ac cos 2 pi fct plus 2 pi kf 0 to t mu t fine now the question is how do we recover mt this so require circuit so modulation is a process 
where voltage is null to frequency just need something that makes oh sorry frequency is proportional to voltage that generates voltage in other words i want something like say i want filter that has a response fine f fc right i can demodulate fm using this or uh, this will give me a response where the or this will give me something that has a response similar to uh, what i or a response that is inverse of what i used while generating fm right so any guesses on what will this what can this be navya any guesses on this since your name is on top today navya okay gandhi any guesses no sir oh you have done this that's why i'm asking you okay let me slightly generalize this so slightly more practical version of hnf is but do you agree that gandhi but you agree that we use this for or this signal can be used for or this system can be used for demodulating fm yes sir move this entire thing down
Zero. Fine. So. This otherwise, the, let me define the other conditions first. So, if C minus speed to right less than F less than FC plus BT by 2. Minus FC plus BT by 2. Fine. This is a slightly more generalized version of that. So there's a half in the positive frequency half and there is something in the negative frequency half. Fine. So now. Let me. Or. Practicality. Drop the. Strict. Zero. That is H and F can be Oops. Fine. So let me draw something and that will give you an idea of what this is. Sir, what is BT here? BT. Yes, nice question. Bandwidth of the <coughs> transmission bandwidth. This means transmission bandwidth. Fine. So let FC, let this be FC plus BT. So minus FC minus minus FC minus PT. Fine. What we want is that it should be like this here, and because there's a K plus FC FC plus PT. By two by two FC minus PT by two because FC is the center frequency. So again that it should be like this. Fine. So still any guesses on what this could be? Let me complete this curve using this. If I try to approximate This is a Gaussian, yes, but uh, apart from a Gaussian. Does this remind you of uh, some other circuit? Some circuit that can produce this kind of a response. 
band pass band pass yes but something even simpler again nothing uh, fancy or nothing that uh, would require you to know too much if i choose fc oops 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 so in this if i choose fc plus bt by 2 then will this work this is the peak what is this peak called what is the frequency corresponding to this peak called resonance frequency resonance frequency all those who have uh, prepared for ge je from resonance raise your hands is the issue that bad oh wow i thought uh, a lot of people from resonance uh, joined iits i was wrong <laughs> or a lot of people uh, from resonance do join and they do not attend the lectures so when this video goes up on youtube resonance people can file a case against me that you are defaming us okay so this so i can use an lcr or lrc resonant circuit to make the frequency response or to get a desired frequency response or close to a desired frequency response if so in general or and lrc or uh, lcr what do you call it this is new or a3 by a2 this less than much less than 1 i can approximate 
this as A two. Fine. Fine. This is uh, how we can we can approximate the behavior of a resonant circuit. Pavan, are you there? Bala? You there? Sir? Yeah, so uh, is this okay? <laughs> we can approximate the behavior of an LRC circuit like this. So since you have gone mute, I believe it's you feel that it's okay. So now. Approximating. Since. It can. Approximate our desired response can find the low pass as setting the DC factor K equal to zero that can be done by subtracting a suitable DC value
this and so this now let Let's I skip this step, sorry. SF S1 F equals HF SF. That is we pass the FM fil FM signal through this filter and consequently the low pass equivalents. As you. At least the people who transcribed these would have. Proved. Equals. J two by A Fine. So if we look at the signal of interest in the time domain, or if we look at S1T in the time domain, S1 A. T plus J by B T S delta T. Oh, sorry, A shouldn't be here, so no A here. And A should be there. Sorry, A is there. Fine. So we have earlier shown that S tilde T equals AC e to the power J two pi. KF zero to T M U D U. Therefore, D S tilde T by D T equals. Who will do this? Who will solve this?
Bala? Will you try? Yeah, S into S of T, S tilde of T into S tilde of T into Yes. 2 pi K F 2 pi K F M of T Right. So we basically get S one T S T S tilde T or rather I would write it the other way by B T plus two pi K F M T. Right? This S tilde T is a complex sinusoidal signal with given amplitude fixed. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, we have proved that the amplitude of an FM signal is fixed. Sir, here I forgot J. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I'll put a J here for you. J. Fine. So the point is that this is a complex sinusoidal signal whose amplitude is fixed that we have proved earlier. Right. So this is essentially S1. K1 or say, let me use C1 plus C2 empty equals C1 S tilde T 1 plus C2 by C1. C1, C2 are some constants empty, right? This is AM. Ashwin, this is AM? Yes, sir. Yes, so we have reduced it to used the LRC circuit to reduce FM to something like AM. Now pass this through an envelope detector and that will give us empty. Fine. OK. So that was 
one way of demodulating fm for the other way of demodulating fm i'll just paste a picture and let's see what happens so I, today i hope the copy paste works so you guys have a class or something after this because this is the last topic in analog modulation we finish this i don't have i won't have to spend time on this on monday we have open elective sir okay yeah so yeah out of 25 people if uh, 50, 10 people have open elective then it doesn't make sense so what i will do is so what we can do instead is that uh, i'll cover as much of uh, this last topic as possible in the class and uh, the remaining portion you guys can uh, look up last year's notes and uh, so i'll provide a link to last year's notes and i will provide a word document and uh, there is the last year's video for this so that can be uh, that can be used to finish this hold on i the picture is coming so the last topic is called no scale the phase locked this is one of the most important circuits that came out of uh, generating fm and i'll paste it here paste it scale nicely at least it's too big so consider this circuit this is called a phase lock loop and why this is incomplete hold on so and one block got missing yes this is called a phase lock loop and so this has three major components i list them so this is a multiplier the second component is the low pass filter so the multiplier and the lpf form the first part the loop filter forms the second part and the vco th 
third part. Obviously, VCO, we have uh, roughly looked at how VCO works in the previous class. So, and uh, VCO generates a sinusoidal, so ST, let me define here. Let me define here right next to it. ST input FM signal RT output by the VCO based on VT. ET is simply since this is a multiplier ST times RT. E prime T is low pass filtered version of ET and VT is the output of the loop filter. What is a loop filter and all we'll discuss here. The filter acts as input voltage for the VCO. Fine. So ST is the input FM signal, so we can write S. ST as AC sign two pi FCT plus five one T. Fine. Note that this is a sign. And assume that initially RT simply ST with a or RT fine. This is an in initial assumption, but uh, we'll eventually show that if this is not so, then the system will adjust to make it true. And obviously, since ST is an FM signal, Zero to T M U T U. Also, okay. Sorry. Stu by FCT error. This is plus phi two T. And phi two T equals zero to T. Fine. So 
Bala, make sense? This 5 and T, 5 to T, we'll discuss later. Yes, sir. Yeah, so let's instead of AC, let me call this AR, any general in. So ET equals ST equals A naught AC because we can keep the amplitude anything sine 2 pi FCT plus 5 and T cos 2 pi FCT plus 5 to T. Fine. Yeah. Equal this equal. Sorry for there was a voice break suddenly. Yeah. This equals a naught AC by two sine four pi FCT And there's a bracket here sine 4 pi FCT plus 5 1 T plus 5 2 T plus sine 1 T minus 5 2 T. Fine. Now, E prime T is a low pass filtered version of ET and E prime T simply equals A naught AC. Actually, simply some A not AC by two sign is the phase error between RT and is huh, pi by 2 plus the phase error between these two. Phi ET is pi by 2 plus is error between right this equals
Fine. And for the loop filter, which is an which is simply an LTI system. System having pulse response HD hope there's undo. Yeah, undo works. So having an impulse arbitrary impulse response this. VT equals minus infinity to infinity e tau oh sorry e prime tau e prime tau h of t minus tau d tau Fine. So this is I don't know why this bar won't shift to the left anyway, but OK, sorry. Since. Equals. Minus 2 pi k v. Some voltage constant 0 to t v u d u d phi e Now back substituting equals five one t Right. dt minus 2 pi some other constant kappa M managing the internal constants of uh, or uh, this kappa contains all the other constants because those are just scaling factors so we don't worry about them too much sine 
phi et sorry phi tau phi tau h t minus tau d tau in case as per our original assumption the phase error small in case the phase error is small we can write minus 2 pi kappa minus infinity to infinity and in the frequency domain so or rather So battery is also low and it is time. Oh, the battery was too low. So yes, the laptop battery went low and it is time. So there's another five minutes of derivation left. So what we'll do is we'll stop here. And uh, you guys, I'll share the file. You can look up the look that up yourself. If you have doubts, you can ask me on Monday. And then we'll uh, start with the next chapter on Tuesday. Oh, sorry, we'll start with the next chapter on Monday then. Is that okay? Guys? Okay, yeah. okay. thank you. Have a nice day. Bye. All of you.